Hello and welcome to Wine Wednesdays with uh, KVB Estate Winery. I'm winemaker Freddie Arredondo and behind the camera is Carrie Arredondo, our marketing events manager. What is our question this week, Carrie? Our question this week comes from David. David lives in Linwood, Washington. And David was wondering why sometimes when he drinks white wine, he wakes up and he does not have a headache. But sometimes when he drinks red wine, he wakes up and he has a very bad headache. Oh, okay. Good question, David. And I think you're not the only one that this happens to. <laughs> In fact, I think there are a lot of people that this happens to. And so what you're experiencing, David, is, is more likely than not a histamine headache. So in red wine production, because the wine is fermented on the skins and on the seeds, the alcohol that, 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 takes, that develops during that fermentation process acts as a solvent and extracts along with color and phenolic compounds these histamines that stay in solution and they are in red wine. Whereas in white wine production, the fruit is pressed off and we ferment juice only. So you don't have the same amount of histamine um, numbers in white wines as you do in reds. Now, I think a lot of people inappropriately blame sulfites for red wine headaches when they don't get white wine headaches. And the fact is that, that more often than not, white wines actually contain more sulfites than red wines do. Uh, so that's, that, that's a, 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 yeah, it's a histamine headache. So why do you think that they would get the headache then? So, so the headache is, it, it basically, you are reacting to the histamines, just like allergies. Uh, and so your, your body is having a, you know, quote unquote, allergic reaction to the histamines. So it's, it's causing this headache. So is there anything yeah. that they can do to help this? Yeah, actually, if you take an, an antihistamine, like a, a Sudafed PE or something like that, uh, just before you, before you have your, your, your wine, uh, chances are that's going to help you significantly. And will water help at all? Water will help definitely. Uh, and wa water actually helps with, with helping you, keeping you from getting dehydrated. So if you are consuming a good amount of alcohol, you definitely need water because if you've consumed a good amount of alcohol, it, it may not have been a histamine headache, but it may have been an overconsumption headache because you're dehydrated. <laughs> right. True. Uh, Freddie, can you explain why uh, sulfites are in wine at all? Yeah. So sulfites are added to wine because they are uh, an antioxidant, basically. So what happens is when you add the sulfites to wine, and, and by the way, there is no such thing as a sulfite-free wine, and I'll explain that in a little bit, but sulfites are added to wine uh, because they're an antioxidant. So what happens is that the sulfites will actually bind to any oxygen that might be in solution in the wine, uh, and they hold on to that oxygen so that these other microbes that could negatively affect the wine uh, can't affect the wine because most microbes that can negatively impact a wine are what are called aerobic microbes. So they need a little bit of oxygen to be able to do the damage that they do. Uh, now, I mentioned that there's no such thing as a sulfite-free wine, and that's absolutely true. There are There is such a thing as a no-added sulfite wine, but sulfites are actually also a byproduct of fermentation. So as the wine is fermenting, the yeast, one of the, one of the compounds that it produces is sulfite, all right? So uh, it does, it, it, there is no such thing as a sulfite free wine, but you can have a no added sulfite wine. And, and there are a lot of people that are sensitive to sulfites, but if you eat bag lettuce or those beautifully bright orange apricots, those contain way more sulfites than uh, wine does. That is very interesting. Thank you for your question, David. And thank you, Freddie, for that really good explanation. All right. Thank you all. See you next week.